Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to um, <clears throat> how to create or clone um, a database via RMAN, all right? It's a pretty straightforward process and um, let's get started, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is I have a file already created with the steps and it's a, it's about 12 steps to actually um, to actually clone the database and I have it right here in VI, well, let's cat the RMAN clone, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna to have to do is register the, the target database, and our target database, in this case, is ORCL with the listener, right? And as well as with the TNS names of OR, right? And the second thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna to have to register our duplicate um, um, database with the listener and create an entry in the TNS name or file, then we're going to have to bounce our listener. So let's get started with this with this step first. Okay, so we do SQL plus um, sys slash or at ORCL as sysdba. Okay, no listener. Okay, so let's start our listener lsnrctl space start master. That's the name of our listener. Okay, so now when I go back and do this, I know that my that my target database select name from v dollar database is done. So I know like the step, the first step is already done, right? As far as me registering my target database with my listener, and there's definitely a TNS entry. To verify that, uh, we can exit again, and we can go to our Oracle Home. Force slash network, force slash admin, and then we type ls. And if we cat our list, our TNS name to or file, as you can see, we have our entry right there, right? And if we cut our listener, right, we have the listener master that's listening for this database, our target database. Okay, so now we know that's done. So now the next thing that we're going to look at is it tells us to register our data, uh, our duplicate database with the listener and the TNS names or file, and we're going to call our duplicate database or our CL dupe. So now let's go back in here and type net CA. Okay, so now we're going to make a new entry for or CL dupe. So I'm going to call this ORCL dupe, and same thing. I'm going to, this is new way of 01, name of our server, right? And I know the name of my server by just looking up, right? Just look up or look down. Oracle app, whatever that app is, app was after this app is where you at. Okay, so I hit next. Net service name ORCL dupe. So we're fine. Right, so we finished. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to register our uh, ORCL dupe with uh, with our uh, listener master. So we do net MGR. So I'm gonna maximize this. Okay, I'm just gonna come here. I'm just gonna do this database service name. I'm gonna add a database and we're gonna call this ORCL dupe. Dupe. Okay, so they both look the same. So I'm just going to file, save network, exit. Okay, so we're done there. So the next thing that it tells us to do per our script is so we've done number one, we've done number two. Okay, so now we have to restart our listener. So to do that, let's do ls and rctl stop master because that's the name of our, our listener. And then let's start. Let's start master. Okay, so as you can see, the master listener, that's um, the alias, is listening for ORCL and ORCL do. Okay, these two things. Okay, so now the next thing it tells us to do, we're now on step number four, is we have to copy our SP file from the target to our duplicate. Okay, so to do that, so we cd to our oracle home for slash dbs okay so now we want to copy 
R O P W to R O P W O R C L D. Okay. Now we do LS. So we have the new password file for our duplicate or auxiliary database, right? So that's step number four. Okay. Pretty straightforward, guys. So now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a, a P file for the duplicate database from the target. Okay. So now the next thing that we're going to do with that is we need to log back into our database. All right. So we just do create P file. All right. One second. And we're going to use our target database. So equals quote, uh, here's a dollar Oracle home for slash dbs for slash init orcl dupe dot ora right ah. from sp file of course paste this from sp file okay okay so file created so now we're going to exit and we're going to do ls again and as you can see we have our duplicate database so now let's go in into it okay right so that's what that is so this is our sp file okay so Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to have to change everywhere where it says ORCL. We're going to have to change this to ORCL do. Okay, so now I just want to exit. So Q exclamation point. Okay, so now let's go back to our script. I think that's what the next step is. Okay, so we've copied this. We've created this. So now we need to edit so that all the, yep, all the names of the target is renamed to, to the duplicate. So now, in our command, I have, um, as a matter of fact, what we're going to do now is we're just going to come over here and just, we're just going to clear this. And basically what we're going to do is this. We're just going to copy this right here. We're going to come over here. Right? And ls. So we're just going to paste this like this. And then we're going to do space init orcl dupe dot ora. Okay, that's the name of our file. Okay, what am I missing here? Ah, control C. I just need to put my quote right there. All right. Enter. Then I need to do the same thing, but this time I need to do it so that it captures not only lowercase but also uppercase. I'm going to do space and I'm just going to copy this and paste. Okay. So now when I do vi init, let's just make sure that. So basically, with this command, this set command does simply does what? Every time that it says that it looks into this file in it ORCL do, anytime it, see, it sees any occurrence of ORCL, it's going to replace it with ORCL do, which is what we want. And if it sees any capital letter ORCL, is also going to is also going to replace it with ORCL do, which is what we want again. So let's press enter. Okay. I am looking and I don't see anything. Okay. So this is ORCL dupe. As you can see, this is ORCL dupe here. ORCL dupe there. ORCL dupe at the end. You have to physically make sure that there is nothing that says ORCL dupe. ORCL dupe there. ORCL dupe. Okay. So another thing that we need to add is at the very end, 
we need to add db file name um, db file name convert we need to, we definitely need to add that and that would be I'm not sure if I did that okay so db file name convert we need to add that to we need to add that to the file let me simply do shift star uh, paste okay then add that as well then we need to add the log file name convert okay we need to add that as well right which is what it tells us to do so we escape shift colon wq okay so now that we've done that let's go back to our to our script okay so we've added okay so we edited it so that we've, we've changed all the names we add db file name convert and log file name convert and we save the file so now we need to create new entries for the audit control file data file and redo log file okay so now let's come back over here and do select uh, obviously we have to log back in okay so now do show parameter audit ah audit okay so this is where our audit file that's the name this is where our audit records are going okay so we're going to have to create new a new name for that for for a duplicate so we do select name from v dollar control file select name from v dollar data file we need to get all these names select member from v dollar log file okay so now that we have all that information so now let's go about creating um, entries for these so we're going to do make directory space minus p paste dash p then we're going to do the first one for audit so we're just going to do we're going to do this like this paste orcl dupe for slash admin for slash a dump okay and we're going to do a space there then just to make sure then we're going to do this for our control files dupe for slash control file space um, yep we're going to leave it like that in space we're going to do like this for slash dupe okay and then we're going to do the ones for the data files right we're going to rename all the data files right or not rename we're just going to make it new entries for the duplicate right and then we're going to do this for the redo log file or CL do okay so so we're creating a new directories for the for the duplicate database right or CL dupe admin a dump or a data or CL dupe and that's for the control file I believe app Oracle or data or CL right and then the flash recovery area or our CL dupe okay that looks fine slash app or whole or CL dupe or our CL dupe okay let's press enter okay so it's all there okay so now if we went to if we CD to to admin Type ls, we see orcl dupe, and if we went here to our data, um, 
home cd we type ls that's there went to our flash recovery area type cd space that's there right so that's there that's there okay so so we've do, um, we've created um, directories where we're going to put store our control file our control file data file um, redo log files and our, and um, and our audit records okay so and that believe that was step number eight okay so now let us start our auxiliary database via the um the p file okay well actually i think we let's start it up first okay so what we're going to do now is we're just going to do sql plus sys slash oracle at orcl dupe as sysdba okay so now we're just going to do startup no mount right p file equals quote dollar oracle home forward slash dbs slash init or rcl dupe dot ora okay uh, let's see what's going on here init just want to make sure I didn't mistype any ah uh, error where okay so now let us go in and CD Let's go to our Oracle Home slash init ORCL. No, it's, well, let's just home delete VI and tab enter. No, okay. Ah. So let's delete this guy. And press enter okay it's having a problem with something which I can't see can't really catch it right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video while I fix this okay guys so I was able to to fix um, the issue with the um, um, with the p file right um, it was just simply um, the equal sign. So now we're trying to start our auxiliary database with the p file, right? So we're just going to wait for that to happen. Okay, it's taking a while. So I'm just going to pause the video again. And wait till it's till okay, guys. So it had a problem with the um, um, it came back with a, with with a different error, which was memory target not supported on this system. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to vi. I'm just going to edit vi uh, dollar oracle home four slash dbs four slash init or lcl dupe. Okay. Once again, if I can type, I don't know why it does that, delete, enter. Okay, so the memory target, we're just going to remove this guy. And sometimes it just works that way where it just does not like that. So what I do is I'm just going to make this a zero okay, and delete that guy. Okay, so I'm just going to escape shift colon WQ. Now I'm going to attempt to log back in again. Now I'm just going to paste this guy again. Okay, paste. Okay, so now I'm just going to 
pause this video again and fix this. And once I fix it, then I'll let you guys know. Hey guys, so I figured out the problem. So um, I mistakenly, I, I created the wrong directory structure. So it's supposed to be slash app, slash UO1 app, Oracle, admin, ORCL dupe, and then a dump right there shouldn't be an admin here so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to paste this and press enter okay so now i'm just going to because it was screaming at me saying that it couldn't create the um the other trail um file okay so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to log back in right okay so let me shut down okay select open mode from v dollar database Right, database not mounted, but our database is connected, right? So let's shut this thing down again, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, uh, we're gonna connect again so you guys can see it. So let's exit, we're gonna log back in. Now I'm just gonna paste, right? All right, so that was the, that was the problem with that, um, over here, um, what we did before, what we did, yeah, this should be ORCL dupe forward slash a dump, not admin and then a dump. Make sense? All right, so now that that's done, so the next thing it tells us to do in our script is to let's go back and okay. So we started our auxiliary database via the p file. Okay, so now we want to use our ps.ef. Let us make sure that it is that that we have two instances running on our server. Okay, so to do that, we just simply do um, let's exit out of here, and we're just going to do ps space uh, ps dash ef grep pmod. Okay. Ah, what did I not do? Ah, of course. Space. Okay. So as you can see, we have two databases running, ORCL, ORCL do. Okay, so we know that we're going to go. So we do SQL plus sys slash oracle at ORCL at sysdba. DBA. Ah. DBA. Okay, we know that we're running. One thing that we definitely want to do is we want to make sure that our database is in archive um, log mode. So if I do archive, archive log list, it's in archive log mode. So that's good to go. All right, we definitely want to make sure that our database is in archive log mode. So now if I exit, right, if I exit and I do Right, so I'm connected. So I'm connected in the two databases, both in um, in our. So if I exit again, right? If I do select open mode from v dollar database, right? You can see we're in read write in our target database. Select name from v dollar database, right? So we're in our ORCL, right? Okay. So that's that. So now that we've we've done that, so now we need to start doing the big guys. So now we need to go all the way. Let's see what it tells us to do next. It tells us to. So where are we? Okay, so we've we've grepped our PMON to make sure that we have two instances running on our server. So now using our man connect to both the target and auxiliary to make um to run our scripts. So now we're just gonna copy this guy right here. Right, I'm just gonna copy that, and then I'm just gonna paste up. Gotta get out of that. We're gonna exit, and then we're just gonna do arm and target sys slash oracle at ORCL auxiliary sys slash oracle at ORCL dupe. Okay, awesome. So now that's that. So obviously our database, this is our DBID for our target and our ORCL dupe is not mounted. So that's good. That's what we want to see. So now we just have to run our, our duplicate command. 
right, which I have already um, laid out right here. And hopefully everything works fine, right? These things can be really tricky. So we have to kind of work with it, right? And now we're just gonna paste it, okay? So before we start, I just wanna make sure that everything looks fine, run, allocate channel. Okay, so already I see, let's see. Nope, that's not what I want actually. So I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna copy this and now I'm just gonna paste this into, I'm going to um, VI Rman. I'm just gonna paste it in here. I for insert. Ah. So I'm just gonna come here, put A. Let's just remove this channel one guy. And then let's delete this guy as well, okay? So LK channel, Joe, channel, Joe 2, channel, auxiliary Joe, auxiliary Joe, duplicate, target, ORCL, target database, ORCL from active database. Okay, so now that looks a little better. Okay, so now it's one, two. Hit the home button and do run. Mm. Press enter. All right. Okay. So everything looks looks pretty good. So now we're just going to copy and paste it. Now let's see what happens. All right. And again, um, if we get any errors, what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll fix it and I'll tell you guys how I fixed it. So let's just paste this and see what happens. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna pause it. Until hey guys, so it's it's actually completed now. Um, we've been able to duplicate our databases, um, our database from ORCL to ORCL um, DUP. So now what we're gonna do now is um, if we go to our script. So now I'm just going to exit out of of here. And I am just going to log back into, if I do select open underscore mode from V dollar sign database. Okay. So if I do select name from V dollar database, right? So this is our ORCL dupe. So if I do select star from scott.dpt, as you can see, if I do select star from Scott dot um, let's say HR dot jobs uh, select star from HR dot jobs right so these are all the what these are just some of the basic commands that I'm doing right so I'll let you know that um, this is our database now we did have to change a few things right so let's go back to what we had to change okay so this stayed the same. We didn't have to change anything here as far as the um, the Rman script. However, the one thing that we did have to change that to that I was having issues with, and let me exit out of here, was so now let me clear this guy and let me cd here, clear it again, and if we go to our Oracle Home for slash dbs for slash slash init ah yes init o enter alas okay so now let's do vi init it's been a long day <laughs> right okay so what i did have to do was this Right. So at the end of my, um, so I believe this was what step four. Uh, let me open up a new tab and CD enter and VI Rman clone. Right. So this part where it, right here where it says, yeah, step number seven was a crucial part for for us. Right. 
So uh, instead of you doing this um, quote OICL, OICL dupe and log file name convert OICL, OICL dupe, you got to be a little bit more explicit, right? So um, if I log back out here and I log back into, and if I do select name from V dollar data file, right? So this is where all our data files are going to be. U01 app, Oracle, Aura data, OICL. So for your DB file name convert, right, which you have to put at the end, you have to be even more specific, right? Because in, um, initially we just did, we just did um, this right here. DB file name convert equals that. And we actually didn't even put the equals, so that was another problem right there, right? So we, you have to be more specific right and change it to where this is where this is shown right here right so you got to do that and put that in here at the bottom so db file name convert equals slash your one app oracle or data oicl and that's going to be converted to your one app oracle or data oicl dupe don't just put oicl and oicl dupe does that make sense Right, so um, that worked for me when I when I changed that, and that's also the log file name convert. Right, so if I do select, let me come back here. So when I do select member from v dollar log file, right, as you can see, they're both located in the same location. Right, so in that case, so when you come over here, so we're going to change that and paste that here. This is what the target location is, and this is what the dupe location is right so basically once you have that in the p file you just save the file right let me just q right when you save the file right and then you run this script um to duplicate the um um to dupl to create the duplicate um database right and everything should work fine all right everything should work fine right so it's allocate channel i just call it joe one device type joe two then I create auxiliary channels, um, aux jo one aux jo 2 and duplicate target database to ORCL dupe from active database. And as you can see, this is the duplication and everything worked fine. And at the, at the very end, it's going to release the two channels, right? Or all four channels. Okay. So that's how you clone your database with RMN. And it's very important that you, that you store these scripts. They store the scripts. I'm not going to put these um, online for you guys. Um, they store the scripts. So if you ever need to duplicate your, um, your database, it should not be an issue. You should just be able to copy and paste, and everything should work out pretty much within um, um, 